Welcome to Emmanuel Lutheran Church, a historic church that has been meeting together for nearly 150 years. My name is Pastor Candace Combs, and wherever you are today listening to this broadcast, I hope that it brings you peace. Stay tuned for Holden Evening Prayer, but first, let us pray. Gracious God, it is good for us to gather as your beloved community. We treasure your presence with us in word and meal and song and prayer. Be with us in these days when gathering together as often as we would like is not possible. When we must be apart for reasons of safety, we trust that you surround us with your sheltering wings. Encourage us in connecting as we are able, reaching out to our neighbors in need, and being persistent in prayer. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our constant companion. Amen. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face. You who sing creation's story, shine on every land and grace. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our songs to you. God of daybreak, God of shadows, Come and light our hearts on you. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, in the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, Love that warms a weary soul. Love that bursts all chains asunder. Set us free and make us whole. You who made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice. Let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way, loving Spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. O oh God, I call to you, come to me now. Oh, hear my voice when I cry to you. 
rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Keep watch within me, God, deep in my heart, may the light of your love be burning bright. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. All praise be the God of all, all creator of life. All praise be to Christ and the Spirit of God. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Let us pray. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. During the Lenten season, Emmanuel Lutheran Church has been singing Holden Evening Prayer, which is a beloved tradition of ours. And during our meditation time, we have been practicing the uh, ancient practice of Lexio Divina, which is a, a time to read scripture and take a pause and listen for the small, still voice of God. Our reading tonight comes from Exodus 13. It refers to the time when Moses was leading his people through the wilderness, and they did not have a place to worship together. They did not have a physical home. They did not have a spiritual home, and yet God was with them, leading them by a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire. Listen to the reading on this first time through. For comprehension. The reading is from chapter 13, verses 17 through 22. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was nearer. They set out from Sukkoth and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went in front of them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them along the way, and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light, so that they might travel by day and by night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. After this reading, there will be a minute pause where you can listen carefully for a word or phrase that stands out to you in the reading. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was nearer. They set out from Sukkoth and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went in front of them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them along the way, and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light, so that they might travel by day and by night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. After the third reading, there will be a slightly longer pause. I invite you to listen for how this passage relates to your life. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was nearer. They set out from Sukkoth and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went in front of them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them along the way, and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light so that they might travel by day and by night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people.
after our fourth and final reading. We will be having a slightly longer pause and then come back together in prayer. During the silence on this reading, I invite you to listen for God's invitation to be or to do. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was nearer. They set out from Sukkoth and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went in front of them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them along the way, and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light, so that they might travel by day and by night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. I invite you to return back to thy group practice. Let us pray. Creator God, we give you thanks for your holy scriptures, the holy stories which continue to guide us through the wilderness by day and by night. During this time of wilderness in our country, we ask that you continue to make yourself fully known, fully present, and fully leading us. Train our ears to listen to your word so that we are not afraid so that we watch out for the safety of others, so that we can be your community outside these walls. We give you thanks for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. The light shines in the darkness. Now I invite you to find um, also on the website our hymn for a new church. It is printed in lyric form and in tune form on our website. It has been our hymn during this Lenten season. During this time, our congregation usually takes up a collection for offering. If you are watching us from Emmanuel Lutheran Church, our ministry is still continuing, and I invite you to either mail in a check to help support our food pantry, our backpack ministry, and our daycare, which are still operating, or if you are not usually contributing to our church, please send your your donation to the church where you normally worship. They need their ministries to be supported as well. Can we still be your people, Lord, in spite of all we've been? Do you still claim us as your own? Although we're steeped in sin, our feet stray from the path you've laid, while our lips still praise your name. Do you still reach out your hand to us, or turn away in shame? The idols we have built still claim our heart or mind our soul. We dare not trust your guiding hand, we cling to our control. We craft our likenesses of you to render our own praise. Forgetting that your image lives in every land and race. Our poisoned roots can never bear you would give a fruit 
the evils we hold dear that we might grow and live. You've never given up on us in spite of all we've been. Help us to not give up on you. Let your new church begin. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the certain one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One. Strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one. Strong is your justice, strong your love. You promise to Sarah and Abraham kindness forevermore. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life and salvation we pray to you. God of mercy, hold us in love. For peace between nations, for peace between peoples. God of mercy, hold us in love. For us who are gathered to worship and praise you. God of mercy, for all of your servants who live out your gospel. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who govern that justice might guide them. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who labor in service to others. God of mercy, Grant weather that nourishes all of creation. God of mercy, hold us in love. 
keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all the beloved who rest in your mercy. God of mercy, hold us in love. Help us, comfort us all of our days. Keep us, hold us, gracious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless our God. Thanks and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light of our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all. And also, and also with, you. with you. If you are watching from home or driving around in your car, I invite you to set your intention to share peace with someone that you know. Reach out to someone who needs a phone call or send an email or merely flash the peace sign as you're driving around today. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be, be to, to God. God.